Hi guys. Um, I thought I would do this video because there is so much going on right now. Sorry, I'm just gonna get comfy. Um, I I just saw recently because I was looking for my my Simon Parks video on Studio Jam Nine, and uh, yeah, to find out shockingly that it was uh, terminated. You know, in terms of Simon Parks' show, uh, his Connecting Consciousness show, um, or Simon Parks' show. I'm not sure what it was called exactly, but um, anyways, I was really really shocked and kind of like upset. Uh, I am upset actually <laughs> um, that this even has happened. Um, it's so strange like I feel like this whole thing it, this whole thing is just really weird and out of the box because one you know when JP and Simon were doing their show together um, they just sounded really really good they sounded really synced and and like brothers almost and uh, you know they just worked so well together and their energy really jived well uh, the dynamic between the two of them you know this is just so strange and it feels like really out of left field for this to even be happening. And uh, now I have had personal experience with Simon, I, you know, um, and that's all I can speak of on my end, you know, I'm not sure about other people and what they've experienced, but on my end, you know, and what I've gathered from him is that he's doing the best he can, you know, and uh, I had a, a reading, it was like one of those soul readings uh, done by him, and um, I thought it was a really, really good reading, and I felt like uh, there was a lot of information he gave me, he even went over time, uh, he was very on time for the reading, uh, there was so much and, and he was very kind. Um, I don't know if I said that, uh, but I never got anything like, they're talking about like this pedophilia, astral, freaking whatever rape situations. Like, ugh, like, are you kidding me? <laughs> like, I know things can happen in the astral, but really... Like, part of me kind of wonders if maybe these people are just really ungrounded and um, maybe there's something that was said that offended them or Simon Parks is in their mind. You know, the mind can do some pretty crazy things, right? Like, if you're upset at someone or if your mind is on someone or maybe some of these people have had secret crushes on Simon even. And then, so yeah, like, why would you not expect them to come into your dream, your, your dream time? is is there for reflection of your kind of that almost like subconscious mind um sometimes the more you know um mindset like the things that have been going on in your head as well but like it's all there for you to go through and and diagnose and kind of go um through those activities through those uh experiences to uh, work through it. So like, it doesn't necessarily mean that someone else is attacking your dreams. And I think that's really disempowering because I believe that we all have a firewall, an energy field. And we, if we feel that there's any kind of penetration, so to speak, coming into our field, our body's going to alert us and there's things you can do you have free will there are things you can do to put up blocks from allowing those things to come any further or even bother you like we are strong people within our minds and if anything that's one thing that Simon Parks is always teaching us as well how strong our minds are and how we have this free will and like you know I think, <laughs> I think this is just ludicrous. I really do. I think, uh, you know, especially with uh, Carrie, like if you even look at like Carrie Cassidy, she's done uh, uh, quite a few interviews with Simon Parks and she's being targeted right now. Um, and she's quite psychic, you know, and obviously she hasn't had any issues with him because she's a strong, 
she is like well, a strong woman. Like if she felt, you know, violated by Simon Park, she would never have him on the show again. Like, come on, people. So I think this is seriously a couple people who have started co-creating together in their little imaginations and have really blown, you know, something way out of proportion, you know? It'd be different if, like, he physically violated someone, but this is like someone talking about their mindscape. Seriously? It's probably your mind doing some crazy stuff, right? And you have psychic protection to defend yourself with if there if it's something other than that so I think this is just silly I think it's uh, a way of attacking Simon I think he's a really good person he gave me an awesome reading he even like <clears throat> I had a question about a dream once and I brought the information to him uh, like I just emailed him and he's a busy guy and he was he had no problem uh, you know, answering the question for me, uh, and he got back to me, like, quite promptly, actually, so, you know, I think he's doing the best he can, and, um, uh, I think this is just horrible, so I thought, you know what, I'm going to, uh, put my experience out there, that I had an awesome reading, he didn't just do a soul reading for me, and I didn't pay extra either. I asked about my kids. I asked about my husband. And he he did a reading for all of them and me. Um, I forgot about one, my one son. <laughs> Unfortunately, I was like, oh, could I see? I only had so many pictures with me, but I didn't have a picture for my other son there. Um, just because they just happened to be there. It's not because I actually literally planned that. I didn't even pre-plan, you know, to ask him about my other family members. It just it was something that... I just thought of in the middle of the reading. I was like, oh, can you take a look at these guys? So, um, yeah, <laughs> it's kind of silly. But anyways, um, but he was totally willing to do that where, you know, he could have said no, you know, because it was supposed to be just me. Um, so, you know, he's very generous. And I know he's done that for a lot of other people where he's helped them and, and even given them readings or assistance and help for free. Um, and it even says on his website that he's willing to do that. Just email him. And, uh, I think that's amazing. Like, seriously. So this is totally bonkers. And, uh, you know, don't get caught up with it. And that's a big key thing. You know, if you have personal experience and you, you know, and your personal experience hasn't been the greatest, then go with that. You know, that's, that's valid and true for you. But if you don't, and you're just getting hyped up into the gossip, then, you know, I think that's just, uh, you've, you know, in a sense, you have no opinion because you don't know the gentleman. So unless you have personal experience with working with him, talking with him, uh, being around him, you know, I think best to just not make any opinions, not make any judgments because you have no idea. It's all hearsay. Um... You know, and I really don't feel like he's a predator in any way, personally. I think he's a good man and he's just trying to do his best and there's a lot of people that are out to get him, you know, in a sense, because he's speaking his truth, right? And that's what this whole thing, this kind of, in a sense, war is all about, is trying to silence, uh, you know, people who are, who are speaking their truth about what's going on. So, anyways, um, I hope this is helpful in some way and if Simon Parks ever sees this just want to say hi and um, you have my full support so thanks okay we'll talk to you later bye